They'll be coming out very soon. I just talked to uh, Silverback, and the uh, the first round of them is actually getting shipped to me. So test them out and make sure that everything's good before they come on the market, but it's going to be really soon. I like to think so. I'm the reigning champ. <laughs> I would have loved to have gone to the Rogue Invitational. Homie, you've got a very unhealthy obsession with my height. Like, it's borderline sad at this point. Try smelling salts, back slaps, and headbutts. It helps me. My money's on Eddie. Pussy Slayer 42069. No, I haven't, but I've seen a lot of footage of it, and uh, it looks kind of fun, so might have to give it a try. I've hit 610. Probably not, just because I'm not particularly interested in it. With those scrawny-ass arms and that pathetic excuse for a set of shoulders, I doubt it. I like Eddie. I feel like we got a good relationship. I would love to do a collab with him, too. Eddie, hit me up. About six to eight meals a day, and it's a roughly around 350 to 400 grams of protein every day. Surprise, Jim. <laughs> oh, I like a lot of franchises. Um, I like the Halloween movies. Like, I'm a big horror guy, so like Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, movies like that. There's a lot of franchises that I like. I like peanut butter and honey sandwiches, personally. It's good carbs and sugars. Um, I also like Swedish Fish. Ah, that's a hard one. It depends on what mood I'm in. Honestly, if I want something sweet, it's gonna be milkshake, but, ah, oh, God, meat pizzas are really good. I can't pick. <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt, that fucker was hardcore. <laughs> Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Strongman is literally a sport for everybody. There's nothing holding you back and nothing stopping you except you. Yeah, for a while there, they did uh, World Strongest Man in a different place, a different part of the world every year. I don't know if it'll ever be in the UK. I mean, I'm not in charge of that. <laughs> I don't just think it, I know it. I would kick the absolute shit out of Jake Paul. That's not even a real question. Because he's ugly and he's stupid and he fucking pisses me off. It's a three-way tie between Three Musketeers, Kit Kat, and Reese's. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be getting on stage in April or May time or wait till August and September. Um, the plan is to get on stage in September, so um, I might do one before that, though. Um, whey protein, if your diet's, you know, if you're not getting enough protein from your diet. EAAs during training, I think, are quite essential. A pre-workout for some people, I personally don't use them that much, but sometimes I do. And I would go for creatine as well. Um, they'd be your basics. I would always try and cover those bases. Oh, that's a tough one. Metallica, probably. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few, actually, that I'd like to have seen. Um, yeah, Metallica would be number one, I guess. I'm totally lying. Guns and Roses. None that I'm aware of. Um, yeah, I don't think any. I know um, Derek Boyer was when he was competing back in... Well, I competed with him in 2007, but he was around for quite a while. He was, um, but none that I'm aware of. I mean, I've never prepped over Christmas Day, so I have trained on Christmas Day quite a few times, though, when I was getting ready for strongman shows. But um, as far as food goes, I pretty much eat what I want. Definitely not. Um, I did quit in 2014, and then I went back to it because um, I felt like I still wanted to do it. Um, I enjoyed my last few years because it wasn't so much about winning or being so serious. Much as obviously I still wanted to do well, um, those last few years after I came back from retirement was because I found the love for the sport again. And before that, it became almost just my job um, an addiction more than for fun. Firstly, thanks and no problem. Um, that's kind of you to say. Um, depends how sick. If I'm proper sick, then no, definitely not. If I've got a little bit of a sniffle, then yeah, I'd always go in and train. Come on, it's got to be super strength, isn't it? Well, I mean, flying would be cool. Being invisible would, would be cool, but super strength for sure. I definitely think he's got it in him. Um, whether it's next year or not, I don't know. But yes, definitely in the future, I think he can do that. Um, might be next year, might be a year after, but I'm sure he will do one day. I mean, it doesn't just disappear, does it? I mean, this is the thing people worry about having like a week off and think they're going to get weaker. I mean, I basically had three months off and my deadlift was still around 400 kilos. So it's um, muscle doesn't just disappear immediately. I mean, at the end of my bodybuilding prep, it was really hard. I've got to be honest. But up until probably four weeks out, it wasn't that bad. And I actually felt quite good. So it was just that last bit was, was tough. 
but yeah, um, and just you know, years of doing it, I suppose it's going to take a time. It will take some time to disappear. So um, yeah, I still feel pretty strong. I was actually looking at it Saturday, thinking I think I could still do most of the events. Aside from the UK, um, I'd say Sweden. I really like Sweden and Norway, both of those two. Scandinavian people are really cool, and um, the ones that are into their strongman are really into it. So yeah, those two. Before on Mount Rushmore, um, if so, Kaz got to have Kaz, Marius, Brian Shaw, Zadrunas, um, pizza probably. But when I'm like sticking to a clean diet, I eat chicken, rice courgette and peanut butter that's like my go-to meal when i'm trying to eat clean yeah it has um and we all go through rough spots sometimes um it's just all about seeking the relevant help you need and um trying to get through it but yeah don't be proud if you're feeling depressed and you've got problems go and get help um i didn't leave early i actually um at the point i i, I was stood on the table i had no queue so i'd done all the people that wanted photos with me and stuff so I sloped off. But I was only about 20 minutes before everyone. Yeah, I definitely would. Um, bench is still a little bit of an issue with my arm. But yeah, definitely. I'd like to at some point. And um, I think I could probably do that in an off season. Now I'm sort of on the bodybuilding journey. Why not? Um, I actually do eat the same food every single day, pretty much. Um, especially when I'm strict eating. I, I eat the exact same thing every day. So, yes, I wouldn't want to sleep in jeans. Yeah, I've read quite a lot over the years. Um, obviously, I've always, well, up until I think 2015, I coached myself. Um, so, obviously, the more information you can get, the better. And the more you understand what you're trying to achieve, the better. The old Top Gear was better um, than the Grand Tour. So, when the guys that do Grand Tour were on Top Gear, that was better, I think. But if I had to choose the two now, I would say Grand Tour over Top Gear. I just think they all work well together. Yeah, I definitely would. Um, if they did it again, I would definitely jump at the chance to do it. Um, yeah, I, I do miss playing rugby still, even though it's been a long, long time since I played. I do miss it. Um, yeah, so definitely. Yeah, unfortunately, um, my arm injury is never going to allow me to be able to do some of the events very well. So it's always going to be a bit of an issue. So yes, I would say that is probably um, me done. Oh, it's a team sport. I'd like to have had the same sort of success in um, in rugby, being one of the best players in the world. Because I have been one of the best strongmen in the world. So, yeah, that probably. Because rugby was my first love in terms of sports. You're lucky that I know you're joking. Otherwise, you'd be getting blocked. Oh, God, there's too many things to, to list. But I will give you a little one. So, 2016 World Strongest Man, I was late to the athlete meeting. And everyone was in there. I was about 190 kilos at the time. So I walked in and I was yeah, running late. So I sneakily tried to like get in and get sit down at the back so no one had really noticed too much. And as I sat down on the chair, it basically exploded underneath me. Um, so me trying to be subtle and get in there and be really sneaky didn't work at all. I was basically sat on top of this chair that was in bits, um, rolling around on the floor trying to get up without stabbing myself with bits of broken wood. Um, which obviously all the guys had a very good laugh about. So, yeah, that would be one. The biggest turn off, without a doubt, for me now at this stage in my life, is someone being arrogant um, and not caring about other people. That would be, um, yeah, really off-putting for me. The relationship thing or like a, a sexual thing, but I'll go with the relationship. Biggest turn on, just someone being a nice person and being kind and loving and all that um i'm not sure anyone really could could they you know not i don't know there's not really anyone about me like me so um i don't know maybe someone can give me some suggestions well um hopefully eddie you know because i'd just say you know i'm better friends with eddie but i don't know um I don't know. This would be different depending on the weight. You've said 360, which for me is obviously not a huge, huge weight, but it's fairly heavy. So I'd probably warm up to about 340 personally. Um, so it would be something like 200. 200 for a few reps, 240 for a 
few, 280, then maybe 320, 340, something like that. That's what I would do. Um, yeah, but they'd be down. Obviously, by the time I got up to like 320, it'd be singles. Um, but yeah, if I was going to do a max, I would do it slightly differently. And if the weight was slightly lighter, where it's like a comfortable weight, I would probably go up to full comp weight for a single. We had a party there with all his friends and stuff, and it was um, yeah, it was good to, for him to see us all in one place together, getting on well and everything else. Which um, yeah, I'm very grateful for that. It was a really nice time. Um, they both do their thing, and um, yeah, I don't think there is any like battle going on there really. Um, they both do their own thing. They're not sort of conflicting with each other. So yeah, actually me. Um, his mum and her other half all um, hired a soft play place. Um, it was the first thing we've all sort of done together as families, and um, it was really nice. Um, yeah, it was a nice experience. One thing I'll say about Eddie is he's like extremely determined and dedicated, and I'm sure that there's reasons why he's not. Um, I don't know why. Obviously, I'm not an expert on boxing, but there's actually been loads, to be fair. Um, yeah, quite a few. Some have had surgery. Some have carried on competing while they're waiting for the surgery. But yeah, there's been loads. I mean, a bit personal, but you know, with the right person, I'm all for it. He wouldn't be going into this lightly, knowing what sort of person he is. So there would obviously be reasons why he's not. I'm guessing it's because he's doing hard sparring and getting the sort of experience that way. But Eddie wouldn't be going into this half-hearted at all. So you know those tricep bars? I have the two handles like this. You can turn those on the side and use them if your gym's got two of them. Dumbbells. Um, or a track bar. Well, my diet plan that was written by Cy um, is all uncooked weight. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. As long as when you enter it into whatever you're tracking it with, you make sure you input it as either cooked or uncooked, you'll get the right macros. Um, but mine um, is uncooked. That's what Sai tells me to do, so that's what I do. And um, yeah, I've had an infection in it, um, which was actually an infection in the top bit. And um, it burst last week. So I had a load of pus in my eye. And then um, I've now got an infection in the bottom bit. So, which, um, yeah, it's not great. Let's say you had 100 grams of rice uncooked, um, but you want to cook a load of rice in, a, in one go. I know that 100 grams of rice turns into 300 grams of cooked rice, um, just to give you an idea, but everything's slightly different. Every coach does that differently. So, if yeah, if the coach is telling you to do it uncooked, then do it uncooked, and if he's telling you to do it cooked, then cook, do it cooked. Um, I know roughly how much things weigh, or you can work out roughly how much things weigh. I was working with a company before and their massage gun is very good. Um, do I think that you can get one that's just as good on Amazon um, for a less cost? Then, yeah, I probably do. Yeah, I mean, if the right thing come along and um, it works and it fitted in with my schedule, definitely. Um, it's something I think I'd enjoy. And, um, yeah, definitely something I'm not against. But, obviously, um, it's got to be the right thing, isn't it? Hey guys, keep your eyes peeled and get ready for something coming very soon. The My Protein Goat Cyber Month campaign is coming very, very soon. This is going to be from the 1st of November. Hopefully we'll be back at it properly. Stay spicy. Offers that you've never seen before. Offers that are going to blow your mind. It's all going to be coming, like I said, very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled because this one... You do not want to miss. Let's go. Guys, orders and stuff are going to be slow right now. We're just getting the office all sorted. So um, we're a bit all over the place. So please give us some extra time for orders. And uh, we're going to be going to America as well tomorrow. So, Hey guys, hope everybody is well. Just want to give you a quick little message just so you can keep your eyes peeled. Cyber Month is coming up with my protein. So we're going to have some unbeatable offers. Literally the greatest of all time unbeatable offers with my protein this month so we've got all the all the products that are here way more than that by the way but 
Honestly, the offers are going to be insane. It's going to be buy one, get one free. It's going to be up to 50% off. So I'm just saying, keep your eyes peeled. Don't miss out on what's coming up with my protein this month. All right? Hope everyone's staying safe and well. And uh, keep being amazing. Keep being awesome. Big up the beast. Take care.